Ah, hell no, what's up, people? First of all, I would like to thank you all a lot for, for all the comments that I got on my previous video. I mean, I got 441 recommendations for 191 different movies in 175 comments. That shit crazy. Second of all, um, I think this list is going to be a hard one. I want to do more than just one part, so that's why this one will be sort of a test. Because I think people, especially here on YouTube, are very hard to please when it comes to scary movies. I feel like whatever movies I'm going to cover, people will find a way to disagree. So that's why for this test, I just chose the movies that were recommended the most to me. And that way I can't be blamed too much. And I'll just see how people will react to that and from that on we'll see further. So let's do this video review. What? That's for a word. I meant this video review. So I'm not going to drink any bit. Ooh. What is this? Nice. Well anyway, first movie and we're already going to Asia. It's the Thai movie Shudder. I'm not actually going to Asia. Probably just gonna check it out here in this room. Right now. Shudder is about a couple that early on in the movie gets into a car accident. Damn! Uh, they leave the spot without checking the person that they hit and after that weird shit start to appear on the guy's photographs and soon scary stuff and shoes. And yeah, for me this is a great start, it was actually really scary. The idea of having a camera to reveal ghosts or whatever isn't exactly original, feel like I've seen that a dozen times before. but. When the story evolves, it does get pretty interesting. The pacing is awesome. There are tons of scenes or moments with a lot of suspense and scares from beginning to end. And yeah, lots of them are jump scares and half the time it's the music that scares you. And I know that modern horror movies are often criticized a lot for that. I mean, even myself, I'm not a big fan because I'm easily scared. <laughs> but in this movie, it actually works pretty well. Um, come to think of it, there's actually not much more I can really add to this one. Uh, if you want scary, Shudder delivers. When I asked for uh, scary movies in my previous video, this was actually kind of what I was looking for. And I can understand people saying like, oh, it's just jump scares, it's, it's, it's the easy cheap trick, we missed the good old days of psychological horror. I, I don't know, to me, this was just scary. Well, anyway, let's just see what's next on the list. I don't have a list, but... Hey, we are staying in Asia, um, moving over to Japan to check out the How Can a Scary Movie List Be Complete Without the Infamous? Ringo? I don't even know how to pronounce that, my Japanese. Oh, well, I actually wasn't even sure if people meant like Ringo, the Japanese version, or The Ring, the US remake. So I figured, why not just check them both out? Like nothing. So, Ringo, the original Japanese version, tells the story of a cursed videotape that mysteriously kills anybody who watched it in exactly 7 days. The movie revolves around a woman and her ex-husband who try to solve the mystery of this curse. The movie was a huge success in Japan and started a new wave of Japanese horror movies. I actually saw the US version first, years ago, and everybody said that the original was even scarier. Wow, <laughs> and I now wonder if anybody back then actually saw the original because, and yeah, there I say it, I don't think it was that scary at all. Don't get me wrong, I, I think it's a great movie, it's just, I think of it more as a, like a mystery movie with horror elements in it, rather than a pure horror movie, and that's mostly due to the fact that a large proportion of the movie is the investigation of the curse, and during that part, nothing too scary or exciting happens, in my opinion. So let's take a look at the remake. It's basically the same story, the difference is the backstory of the curse tape, and therefore the investigation is different. And remember, I'm not saying the remake is better, but we do get a lot of different bits during the investigation that makes it, for me, way more interesting and eerie. It's, it's not like I need a scare or whatever every 5 minutes, but for me, the overall movie is just scarier this way. Although I did prefer the backstory in the original version. So yeah, although both versions tell the same story, they are completely different movies. But when it comes to scary movies, I'd say the US version takes the cake. 
No, but seriously, I mean, to each his own, right? Um, Ringo, it, it's a great movie, but when someone would ask me for a scary movie, I think I would recommend The Ring over Ringo. Yeah, I hope you guys still want to be my friends. Okay, so it seems like we're staying in Japan just a little longer, because I guess it's impossible to mention Ringu without also mentioning, of course, Yuyong, or The Grudge, or Yuyong The Grudge. Man, there are like a million versions of this movie. So let's start by dropping some Yuyong knowledge on these bitches, R really quick. So the most well-known version is probably the US version, simply called The Grudge, released in 2004. This is in fact a remake directed by Takeshi Shimizu, who also directed the original Japanese version called You on The Grudge, released two years earlier. But it doesn't stop here. You on The Grudge is actually based on an earlier direct-to-video movie by Shimizu called You on The Curse. Now we're almost there, we only need to go two years back when the TV movie School Ghost Story G was made. For this movie, Shimizu made two three-minute segments that show the first bits of the You on franchise. They're called Katasumi and 444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444
And actually, uh, to me at least, when the cave expedition goes wrong, that part is way more terrifying than when they encounter the monsters. But yeah, can't really criticize this movie a lot. So yeah, maybe not the scariest movie, but very suspenseful and just overall pretty badass. And that's how I roll, as you might know. So yeah, check it out if you haven't already. Boom! Okay, let's stay in Europe. I mean, I, I like it here. But let's move over to Spain. Hola! And that's all the Spanish I know. <laughs> See, uh, of course we're going to watch Rack or Rack. I don't really know how to pronounce brackets, if, if you pronounce them, but I also don't really think that's relevant at all. So let's just watch this película. <laughs> In the tradition of the good old found footage style horror movies, Rack tells a story of a television reporter who follows a group of firemen who visit an apartment during their night shift. Soon, the whole building is put in quarantine because of a crazy virus and oh, 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 oh. So yeah, pretty awesome movie if you ask me. There are quite some scares along the way, but in my opinion it doesn't get really scary until the end. Up until that moment, it's just... Yeah, uh, a pretty cool movie, I guess. The acting is intense and pretty okay overall, something that I always think is of vital importance in such movies. And although there isn't too much of a story, it does evolve well as the movie progresses. And like I said earlier, the ending is just very well done, very, very cool. Besides all of this, there isn't really anything I can add to all of this. Um, I mean, if you want an exciting, cool, a scary little horror movie, uh, check this one out if you have it already, I mean, it's, it's really worth your time. There is also a, I believe it's a shot for shot remake, an, an American version. Uh, I haven't seen that one, but from what I've heard it's, it's pretty unnecessary. It is this kind of funny though, that all the foreign movies on this list, that they all have been remade for an English speaking audience. It's just, uh, I'm just kind of happy that I have the ability to, to read subtitles. It's, it's pretty cool to, to have that. But for those who don't, let's move over to the US for the final movie on this list. A movie that's been recommended 20 times. And I hope it isn't an anti-climax. Insidious! Yeah. I actually saw Insidious in the theaters, and when I think back to the movie, all I seem to remember is... Uh, let's see what this movie is actually about again. <laughs> oh yeah. Insidious tells the story of a family with three kids moving into a new house. After their oldest son falls down a ladder, he doesn't wake up the next day, and it turns out he's in a coma. Even later in the movie, it turns out that he's actually having a out-of-body experience and traveled too far into a scary spiritual world. <laughs> I actually thought this was a pretty cool movie, except for just one tiny little thing. The last 30 minutes. Uh, I mean, the build-up was very well done, very suspenseful, enough scares, uh, kind of interesting story. But, but when you get to the final act, it just gets ridiculous. And that's, that's really a shame, it's, it's like you're watching a whole different movie. Of course there are still enough scary moments, but it's, it's just not what you're hoping for after watching the first hour, and to say it again, it, that's really a shame. Of course, this movie relies heavily on scary music and pop-up or, or jump scares, but, but still, the, the build-up to the movie's ending, it's still pretty cool. It's, I say it again, just really a shame that they kinda messed it up in the ending by going so overboard and whatever the hell they were going for. Well, according to my viewers, that was the scariest movie ever, I guess? Oh, thanks. Um, as you might have noticed, there's a big lack of classic horror movies, but also, like I said in the beginning, while doing a, a, a scariest movies of all time list, it's really hard to satisfy everybody, and, and that's just why I went with the movies that were recommended the most. 
And that brings us to the end of this video. I'd really love to hear your, your reaction, your feedback, whatever. Also about what to do with a possible second part. Because I'd love to make one. It's just really hard to pick the movies. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope I didn't disappoint too many viewers with this list. And finally, I hope to see you all soon. Booyah!